Thank you. Bye. Labra. Mr. Simmons, yes, sir. Mr. Butler's five to four, sir. Fifty pound to forty on Mr. Butler. Five to four, sir. Two score invested. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. Steen, when did you start this book on the Tory leadership? Last Friday morning, the moment we realised there was going to be a lot of public interest um, in the leadership. Is, is, is in fact there is a lot of money? Because a lot of bookmakers tell me that there's not much, you know, they're not doing business because there's not much money in it. Oh, no, I don't think that's true at all. There is a lot of business. Every day, uh, another one of the participants um, are backed, probably to the exclusion of the others. Um, but all the way through, even right from last Friday lunchtime, there's been intense public interest in it. And, and big money going on? Sizable. Bets are most sizable, What yes. sort of bet would you say would be going on? 50, 100, 200. What's been big the money. trend? What's been the trend since last Friday? First trend was for Hailsham to be backed. He was heavily backed at 7 to 4 last Friday afternoon. Uh, this was because he made such a great impact um, at the party conference. And then on Saturday, Hume was backed. Yeah. Coming into yesterday, Butler had weakened, and he's weakened even further today. But the interesting part of today's transaction has been the run on Maudling. He was first offered at 16 to 1 this morning, and has been consistently backed all day long, down to the, the current price of 8 to 1, and even he's been backed at that price. These prices of yours, they don't reflect sort of any inside knowledge of yours? No, they? it's purely supply and demand. Yeah. This we is balance our book according to the supply and to the demand. You haven't got a private line to number 10? We're putting one in, we hope, but uh, there's no sign of it yet. Uh, some people say that, you know, it's too serious to back on this sort of thing. What's your answer to that? I don't think so. We've always bet on general elections, on presidential elections. Uh, I, I think there's nothing wrong with it at all. And it adds a little, some little additional spice into what is already a, a very exciting business. <laughs>